The Shanghai Motor Show is raging on. It is probably the biggest auto show in the world at this point. The Chinese market is the largest auto market in the world. And Toyota has just unveiled two new electrified vehicles. Will they come to America? We'll talk about that at the end, but let's break down what they have for us. Let's go. If you're excited for Toyota's BZ lineup, smash a like button. I will smash a like button for the BZ lineup, not for the naming because the naming drives me a little bit crazy, but I'm excited to see how it will develop and change and how much better uh, it can get before they come out with a new skateboard EV platform because the, all the BZ models are going to be based off of the ETNGA platform, which is a modification of the K platform. All right, so what do we have going on? We have two EV crossovers here. We have the one that I detailed uh, in LA, but it's been completely modified and overhauled probably for the better. It looks even better, which is just stupid. Uh, and then we also have a BZ flex space concept, which looks, I mean, almost looks a little like the electric Highlander is what I would say, but probably two row. It's a little bit boxy, which I love boxy on the back end of SUV slash crossovers and the front ends here are, this is the new hammerhead design guys. And it started with uh, the crown in some ways, but the Prius really took it to the next level. And we're going to see this probably on the upcoming Camry that'll be available at the end of this year as well, at least some sort of iteration of it. So these are concept models and they're both being developed as BZ models and they will be launched in the Chinese market in 2024 as two of the models out of the 10 BEV models that Toyota plans to release by 2026. All right, let's focus on the design of the BZ Sport crossover concept. And we'll compare it to this guy, which is the BZ Compact SUV. You can tell they're very, very similar. The hood design is different on the Sport crossover here at the bottom. The side mirror design is slightly different. We don't have a charging port over here. Uh, it actually looks like it's in the back. And the sensors are actually located at the top of the vehicle instead of inside of the window or windshield here. This black piece at the bottom looks very similar, but this has an additional line here, additional crease that this model doesn't have. So I think on the side, it's actually cleaner on this model that we see here, but the front end I think is cleaner and more sleek on this uh, sport crossover. The front bezel just sticks out way too much. Its chin is way too large on this compact crossover. And the lights are more minimalized here and look much sharper. These are a little bit big lobster claws. Um, and I hope the model that we get has a more light up or a light assembly that's closer to this here and a much more minimalized front bumper that has more paint matched instead of just like this crazy chin down here. That's a, really the only thing on this vehicle that really throws me off. The lights are still beautiful, but this chin throws me off and that's fixed here on this BZ Sport uh, crossover. Now comparing them from the side, it looks like this model has a much larger overhang on the bottom. It sticks out a lot further. And I actually think the small hang overhangs on the top model look a lot better. And the chin is minimalized from this angle. So it's not as terrible, but so the proportions here, how this kind of just like sticks up and goes straight up doesn't look quite as good as what we have here. So there are pros and cons to each model. Let me know which uh, model you prefer with the overall design. I think now that I see the side profile, I think I'm picking this one. This just looks a little too sloped and aggressive and sharp here on the back for my liking. But I'll see you guys down below on which one you prefer. Now, here's the interior of the model that I previewed in LA, the BZ Compact crossover. And let's compare to what we have here. Well, it has both of them have a bendable screens that are OLED technology. So that's amazing. They also have the same steering wheel. They actually look pretty identical, to be honest. I had to switch out the GV70 electric for the Lexus RX 500H in the Copper Crest. So that is sitting in my driveway. I'm excited to review that. I haven't driven it since last late summer, I guess, when I did the media drive in Santa Barbara. But wow, this, this looks very similar. The seats are far more luxurious and more... Uh, I wouldn't say luxurious, but more welcoming for more homey here on this model. This is really aggressive with the perforation. The red doesn't look bad. I don't know how I feel about the ketchup and mustard color two-tone here. And I doubt this is customizable, this kind of neon yellow. Uh, I, I'm liking this one a lot more. Uh, I like the, uh, the the cloth on the panel here. 
as well. But really the technology is the same with the bendy OLED screens, the uh, digital rear view mirror as well. It'll be interesting to see how much it changes from this to production just next year. I think it's next spring is when we're, we're expected to see this set up or at least this vehicle, this BZ Sport crossover uh, in China. All right, we're gonna focus next on the BZ Flex Space concept. And I'm gonna compare it to what I'm expecting to be called the BZ5X. This model is supposed to come here in America, built from uh, the Kentucky plant. Those are just my expectations, but it's pretty much confirmed at this point. Uh, and all right, what do we have going on? Well, we have a much newer generation of headlight display here. This looks like it's taken from the crown, which is not bad. It's a little bit more macho. This is more elegant, and I like the elegance of the design here uh, with the next generation hammerhead design. Um, the door handles on both of them sink into the doors. Uh, we have a floating roof line down here on this flex space model. A interesting crisscross pattern here at the bottom that I could live without. What, you know, where is the entryway? Is there actually a small physical grill down here? for air to go in, I would assume that there is, but maybe if it's using a certain battery technology that doesn't need to be cooled as much, I guess that's a possibility. Now, this model will come with side mirrors, obviously here in North America, but let me know which design you actually like better from this angle. I, I could flip a coin and take either of them. Now, we don't know if this is gonna be a three row crossover with the flex space. We know 100% sure, like, there's seats right there. And we know this is coming for America in 2025. So China will get their family crossover in 2024. We'll be getting ours in 2025. Now, I don't have an up-to-date image of our BZ5 three-row family crossover. This is actually outdated based off an older design. But you can just see, you know, the wheelbase is going to be larger here. Uh, the overhang in the back is going to be larger as well to accommodate more stuff you can put into it. But I really think this is pretty charming and endearing. I would be happy to see this as an electric Highlander design here in the United States. I'll see you guys down below. I think, well, obviously this is, like I said, it's an outdated design. This looks really, really good here. And it's going to do well for Toyota over there in China. Now we also have an image of the interior of the BZ Flex space and it's very garden-like. Like we have gr fake grass on the inside. I, it's a little much, but I'm happy that they're trying something different. We also have the little BZ uh, amongst the stitching here. It's almost like a little cracked egg. I feel very Eastery here with this nice earthy green uh, color here on on the side panels as well. And this is a light, just like we have the light and the Lexus R, uh, RZ electric vehicle that it projects on the door panel. This is projecting on the A-pillar door panel area as well. I think it's very handsome, very attractive. We might actually have some ambient lighting here uh, below your feet. Okay, this looks like your drive control and I'm not sure what these buttons are or maybe you can put your phone up there. Not, not entirely sure what's going on with those, but uh, the cute little steering, yoke yes drive-by wire here just like uh, the lexus rz will have in the future but this is definitely more conceptualized uh, we have a transparent head-up display screen it's not that much different than what we see in like older mazdas that have the little panel head-up display but this is definitely uh, going to be far more techno technical technologically advanced than those old mazda head-up displays um, and you know, unlike the last concept we saw, this does not have the bendy screens on it. Uh, so, but they, it does have transparent screens, which is pretty cool. Uh, it makes me wonder how, how well will you see them at night when there's somebody's headlights are shining through them. If your point of view is from up here, you're looking down. So maybe it doesn't interfere with oncoming lights or, so, you know, it's just a concept. So, uh, the seats look great. We have the a great texture down here as well. Nice cloth, different designs as well. Alternating uh, patterns, I, I could say, with that texture. It looks great. Hopefully we get a lot more physical buttons on both of these concepts on the interior and hopefully on the models we get here stateside. So the BZ Sport concept is a crossover style BEV with active and distinctive styling being jointly developed with BYD. Now, Toyota also has another BZ vehicle currently on the market. I think I have another article here. Oh, here it is. That Toyota and BYD's first battery electric vehicle together. 
uh, uh, earns 500 orders on the first sales day. This is the BZ3. It's going to have rear wheel drive. I don't think it has all wheel drive, but you have two different motors you can pick from a, a less powerful and a more powerful motor uh, setup. And the, the range is supposed to be pretty good on it. There you go. 382 miles, but it's probably closer to about 330 miles or so on the EPA range. And it costs just $27,000. If this vehicle wasn't available, was available in America for around $30,000, Oh my gosh, watch out Model 3, right? But it's not. The concept of this model is Reboot, which incorporates the idea of a change of space the moment you get in and drive around. In addition to its active iconic styling, it has been designed with functions to provide a personal space for younger customers. Yes, this looks like a young person's vehicle. This looks like an older person's vehicle. Or the Gen Zs, which is a generation after me. So... Man, young people out there making more money than I was definitely at their age. Also, they want to have this vehicle updatable. So they want its functions to evolve after purchase, including an intelligent features such as driver assistance and automatic parking so that owners can continuously enjoy a most up-to-date car with all five senses. The more grown-up, older person, BZ flex-based concept is a family-oriented SUV BEV with a focus on utility. It is being developed by Toyota and GAC, which is their other joint venture. They have FAW and GAC. They have two separate model lineups with two separate automakers in China. Toyota does. And this is also being developed with TMAC and is planned to be produced and sold by GAC Toyota Motor. The concept of this model is cozy home to create a space that families can use safely, comfortably, and freely with a peace of mind. It offers a large cabin space, ease of use, advanced safety, a reliable cruising range, as well as various intelligent functions. Development is ongoing to create a car that is ideal for families, friends, and couples to make daily life even more enjoyable. Are you impressed with these two concepts that will be coming just next year? They'll look really, really similar, if not pretty much identical to the models that we have right here. Are you excited for them? Do you want them to come to America? We know that we're going to have our own versions in, in some ways of these models, a little bit bigger version with the three row crossover coming of this guy. And then we'll have our own BZ concept crossover. It'll look slightly different than this guy. But also you guys down below, do you like the Chinese versions or Chinese designs better than more than likely the, the models will be getting here stateside. I want to see you guys down below on that. And definitely stay tuned because there's a lot more news coming out of the, the uh, Shanghai Motor Show over in China. Thank you for watching. Got to cut it off. If you liked it, hit the like button. See you in the next one. Peace.